So ngayon, nakompleto na natin yung apat na thermodynamic potentials. Si internal energy, okay, and si enthalpy, si Helmholtz free energy, tsaka si Gibbs free energy. Those are the four equations that you would use to calculate the change in any of these thermodynamic potentials. Now, we can actually develop more equations no, further from each of these thermodynamic potentials. So let's start with internal energy first. So let's consider. No, consider the equation for internal energy, which is, again, du equals TDS minus P dV. Ang gagawin natin, well, if you take a look closely, and we have done this in one of the previous video lectures, if you take a look, ang ibig sabihin ng equation na to is that the internal energy as a function of the variables S and V, kasi sila yung differential dun sa equation, okay, ang ibig sabihin, internal energy is a function of S and V, and it's natural. Alright? Now, let's take the total differential or total derivative of du. Okay? So, paano gagawin yun? So, du, total derivative, is partial derivative of u with respect to the first variable. Okay? Making the second variable constant, ds. Plus, derivative of u with respect to the second variable v at constant s this time dv okay now if you notice in this equation you just have to compare um this equation and this equation so malab malabas since mayroong uh, ds dito at mayroon ding ds dito. Mayroong dv dito. Mayroong dv rin dito. So, nagko-correspond sila. That's how I kind of discuss that. And since pareho silang equal sa du, right? For both equations. Lumalabas therefore na yung partial derivative of u with respect to s at constant v is equal to t. Okay? So, equal daw yan sa temperature. And, ganoon din yung gagawin natin dun sa pangalawang correspondence. Yung pangalawang term, which is partial of u with respect to volume at constant entropy, okay, is equal to pressure. Negative. Okay, so from the equation for internal energy, we were able to develop two more expressions. And this is important kasi lumalabas na if you want to calculate the change in internal energy as a function of entropy, constant volume, uh, we can measure them in terms of a measurable variable which is temperature. And ganun din dito sa pangalawang equation. No? Change in internal energy with respect to volume at constant entropy. How the heck would you calculate that? So, lumalabas, we can measure it using pressure. And pressure is a measurable uh, quantity. No? We have pressure meters. Now, furthermore, what if we take this equation, yung fundamental theorem nga of thermodynamics, if we take this equation as an exact differential equation, what will happen? So, just to uh, have a refresher on exact differential equations, just a little bit. So, if we are going to consider, let's say, uh, this differential equation, so df, for example, equals g dx plus h dy. So, this is a differential equation. Now, paano natin masasabi na 
exact ang differential equation na to. So, this equation is exact. Okay? This differential equation is exact if the following is true. If you take the derivative of g with respect to y, the other variable, at constant x, it should equate, okay, it should be equal to the change in h with respect to the other variable x, okay, at constant y. So, kapag equal yung dalawang expression na to, masasabi natin na exact yung differential equation. Okay? So, if we consider yung du equals tds minus pdv as an exact differential equation, let's just go ahead and follow this equation here. So, ibig sabihin, ang partial derivative daw of t with respect to volume, the other variable, constant si entropy, it should equate daw the partial derivative of p with respect to the other variable s at constant volume. And don't forget to put the negative sign. So, ibig sabihin, nakadevelop na naman tayo ng isa pang relation. Okay? And th there's a term for this relation. Ang term na to, ang, ang equation na ito, ay tinatawag din natin Maxwell relation. Okay? Now, this Maxwell relation was developed from the equation for internal energy pa lang. Ibig sabihin, this is just exercise number 1 pa lang. And we will go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of the thermodynamic potential. So, number 2 natin is we will consider yung enthalpy. So, enthalpy is dH equals TDS plus VDP. Tama? Ito yung ating na-develop na equation for change in enthalpy. So, if you take the total differential, no? kasi lumalabas dito na H is a function of what variables? Entropy tsaka pressure. Right? So, if we take the total um, derivative dh, so, ang lalabas dyan is that the partial derivative of s, I'm sorry, of h with respect to s at constant p, okay, Tapos add natin yung partial derivative of H with respect to P this time. And at constant S this time, I forgot to include DP, dito DS, yung change in the variables. And if you notice, mayroong correspondence dito sa equation na to at dun sa definition ng change in NLP. So, lumalabas na si Change in H with respect to S at constant P is equal to temperature. Okay? And garoon din dun sa kabilang term, yung partial derivative of H with respect to P at constant S, lumalabas daw na equal siya sa volume. Okay? Very important because... You have expressions to calculate changes in enthalpy by relating them to measurable quantities such as temperature and volume. Okay? 
And the same thing with what we did kanina sa internal energy. If we're going to assume that um, this enthalpy equation here is exact. Okay, exact differential equation siya. Then lumalabas na ang partial derivative of T um, with respect to P at constant S equals partial derivative of V with respect to S at constant P. And this, guys, is another Maxwell relation. Now, let's go to number 3. So, si number 3 natin is now si um, Helmholtz, no? free energy, which is the change in that potential is equal to minus PdV minus S dt. Okay, and let's do the same treatment as the others. So, lamalabas kasi dito na si Helmholtz free energy daw ay a function ni no volume at ni temperature. Okay, so the same thing. Um, let's take the total derivative of A. So, partial of A with respect to the first variable volume at constant temperature, dV. Plus, partial of A with respect to the second variable uh, temperature at constant volume, dT. Okay? And we will now relate, okay, this total derivative equation to our change in Helmholtz free energy equation. So, lumalabas, meron silang correspondence, right? So, yung partial of A with respect to V, okay, at constant T, Equal daw yan sa minus P. And let's do the same for the other term. Partial of A with respect to T at constant V correspondingly equal siya sa negative S. And we have developed therefore two additional equations. This and this one, and next is if this equation here is an exact equation. Okay, one moment. Okay, kapag exact differential equation to. Ang lalabas dyan is that the partial derivative of P with respect to temperature at constant volume equals partial derivative of S okay, at constant volume uh, at, with respect to volume at constant temperature. Okay? Yes. But don't forget to... Uh, Include the signs, minus, minus. Anyway, para silang minus, so you can remove the sign as well. So this is now another Maxwell relation. And finally, for the last thermodynamic potential, okay, number four yon, and that is for the Gibbs free energy, no? dg. Na direct natin kanina, that's it's equal to minus SDT, okay, plus VDP. Na direct natin to in the previous video lecture, and it says that uh, Gibbs free energy is a function of temperature and pressure, right? So that function is natural. So what we'll do next again is to get the total derivative of G. Partial of G with respect to T 
at constant P dt plus partial of G with respect to pressure at constant temperature dp. Okay. Now we look at the correspondence with this equation and ang lalabas dyan makikita natin na the partial of G with respect to T at constant P is equal to negative S. Why? Kasi negative S to. Okay. And yung isa pa, which is partial of G with respect to P at constant temperature equals saan? Volume. Positive. Those are the two relations um, involving the Gibbs free energy. And, kapag yung equation na ito ay isang exact differential equation, so exact, anong lalabas na relation? So, it will turn out na the partial derivative of S with respect to P constant yung kanyang variable t equals the partial derivative of v with respect to temperature at constant pressure. Don't forget to include the minus sign. And this, once again, is another Maxwell relation. In other words, I don't really normally use mnemonics to get these relations. Um, you might encounter what we call the Maxwell square, wherein these relations or these variables are arranged in such a way that you will be able to determine the relations. But here, we can actually derive it from one single equation, which is the fundamental theorem of thermodynamics.